women are multifaceted and i think mangeraga pirappadarkke nalla madavam seidida vendum illaya so adukku vande that's a that's a purpose of why you are born as a woman i've done few businesses in the past um this is my fifth venture a bigger venture in terms of content and depth prior to becoming an entrepreneur i was a corporate animal i was working for wipro bangalore for almost 5 years wipro gave me a fantastic platform because uh, that actually gave me the idea that uh, you know anyone can excel as long as you have meritocracy and as long as you are able to get the job done right initial uh, starting vision of ampere was largely just be like any other automobile company right so we thought uh, after coming to the market oh we can become the you know next big automobile company doing uh, uh, these kind of affordable uh, uh, mobility but then uh, within about uh, matter of about 6 months i understood that uh, we were actually targeting the wrong segment of people which are the uh, gasoline consumers we did make a mistake and then we moved on to uh, be doing uh, uh, helping people that really need transport so we did some intense market research and you know see if you look at an average uh, a person a middle class person the challenges are not that much but if you look at a lady in a village right a woman in a village environment they are not sure whether they will have electricity they are not sure whether they will get transport when we were actually contemplating and reorienting our strategy we felt that if we make the transport alternative extremely affordable uh, for this sector of people i think we will enhance them in terms of uh, scaling up their economic livelihood our vehicles don't drink don't shout don't smoke uh, the reason uh, because is that electric vehicles are far more cost competitive and we give three benefits to our customers we give cost savings uh, the second benefit is of course uh, convenience because in some villages there is not even petrol bunks right so we are actually now giving them place to charge the you know electric vehicles in the normal place where we will charge the mobile phones and third of course freedom because we have seen uh, many many women particularly mrs banumati who actually gave tea, tea to us she is using an electric scooter we have got newspaper fellows we have got people who are giving tender coconuts we have got electricians these are the people that actually use our products Uh, i still remember uh, those days where uh, it was actually very tough you know because uh, when you're not from this place and when you wanted to even go get a building uh, you know for lease purposes it's not easy because initially even when we want to attract staff nobody would come they said oh this is automotive this is not you know women's work this is all only men's uh, men's uh, you know department kind of a thing so when i started in 2008 i used to go to nearby houses and pull out the ladies and ask them to come and join us okay and they were saying illa madam veetla bayama irukku madam anga vida maatikranga so i should talk to their spouses also to counsel them the short term goal is to touch about 100000 vehicles the long term vision is to do 1 million vehicles uh, for the two wheelers uh, we will also want to focus on specific industries like in the spinning mills and uh, where uh, certain uh, solutions that we have created are extremely beneficial for them i have uh, undeterring perseverance passion to be able to uh continue this journey of affordable mobility i wanted many women to be able to take on bigger challenges because uh, the mind has got exponential capacity to be able to learn many things so if you are able to get good mentors and you are able to identify with uh, solving a societal problem the opportunity is so huge